Banking in the cloud right now, fintech companies and community banks moving into the future of finance, striking up partnerships to create cloud-based banking platforms for clients. One of the new ventures we are watching is the new program launched yesterday by the community bank Connect One and banking software company Encino. Joining us right now are the principals. We've got the Connect uh, One Bank CEO Frank Sorrentino back with us, as well as Encino CEO Pierre Naudet. Good to see you, uh, gentlemen. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, and we've Thank been you. talking in the break about how we're seeing more and more connections between financial services and technology firms. Pierre, what's behind that? Um, what we're seeing now is finally banks come around to understand that they have to industrialize the industry and they actually have to drive efficiency in a customer experience that matches those of fintech companies. And so what Frank and I am doing together is actually drive a customer experience where you'll be mobile, you'll be digital, and you'll get speed and convenience uh, at the lower cost. Frank, how does it work? You know, banks used to be used to say bank, and you would think of this limestone building on the best street corner in town, and, <laughs> and, you just, and, and it was the only one, right? And so you went in there, and you deposited your money, you took a loan, and whatever. Today, you have almost infinite choices, and so for us to impact our client and really and really provide for a client experience today that people want in this new digital age, we can't think about brick and mortar anymore. We have to think about your cell phone. Got to be here. Your bank is That's here. Right. That's exactly right. And so we're a small community bank. You know, Connect One exists here in New York metro market, we don't have the technology or the innovation prowess to be able to develop the technologies that we think we need to deliver that service. Right. Our Encino partnership here it. with Encino allows us to provide an, an, an extraordinary experience to our client. Now, of course, it's the culture of Connect One to want to be that, so that's how we want to differentiate our client experience, but without a partner like Encino, we would not be able to deliver and, and it. You're, you're, you're finding out that you're, you're needing to strike out on a lot of partnerships and actually bring that experience, and isn't Zell one of them, right? So you have to have a peer-to-peer -peer competitor to Venmo, but you're in this ecosystem with 30 other banks, and it's not trying to get market share from a PayPal's Venmo. It's just trying to provide that customer experience. Is well, that we want to be relevant to our client, right? So our client has needs. We want to develop and have the products that they want, sometimes even before they know that they want them. <laughs> and, you know, that's an example of doing that. This partnership, however, is much bigger, much broader. It's really about how we're going to operate the bank in the future, create efficiencies, create value for our shareholders. With the limestone so. bank, though, Frank, the, <laughs> the biggest headache would be some grumpy old man who denied you for a loan when you would go in to mm -hmm. see him. But nowadays, you say cloud, and particularly with the Equifax hack and the data breach there, people think maybe my financial information is not secure. So, you know, I think that's a great point. I think that's another reason why a partnership with a company like Encino is so valuable. This is what they do. They're, they're built on the Salesforce cloud. Uh, it is highly secure. We could never provide that level of security with our own resources within Connect One Bank. Even our, you know, concrete vault doesn't provide the, the security that you would get from, so from a cloud business. So people want to know, you Yeah, so if you think about this, this really levels the playing field. The cloud actually provides to the community bank sector technology that's only deployed in the very, very large banks today, where they have to spend millions and billions to actually get there. The other thing it gives you is the ability to decide how to deploy capital. Some banks want to be, have a 7-Eleven on every corner and have a brand there. Some banks want to have a, like a big box, box store or an Apple store, a few branches. It's a technology showcase, and then my people in technology will interact with you, okay? This technology gives you those choices to decide how do you actually expand your bank to a much wider footprint and maybe go to market in a vertical fashion versus horizontal. So this technology really expands the way bankers can think about their go-to-market strategy. So, so should I think as a consumer, right? So I'm a Connect One uh, client, right? So I have an account there, and then I go to apply for a loan. Am I then pushed onto the Encino platform, and I can it's, see it? Or how? It'll be seamless to you. Okay. You will just see a vastly better, more efficient system. You'll walk into a branch. If you want to walk into a branch and make a deposit, you'll be able to do that. But while you're in that branch, if you want to apply for a mortgage, that whole process is going to go on in the background in a very efficient manner. Um, and we're going to take that information that you gave us to open up your deposit account, and it's going to pre-fill all your documents. You're not, not going to have to fill out documents 72 times, ask for your signature 52 times, and the process is going to be much more streamlined. So you will feel better about your relationship with us. 
but they will be in the background. So there's simple Jean factors there. Yeah. No more re-entering of data twice. Reuse of documentation previously provided. You know, today all these systems are behind the scenes, and so when a banker needs a document, it's easier to ask the customer for the same document again, as opposed to just go and find it in the bank's vault, okay? And so we are actually push all of that to the customer's CRM record, and now when you restart a new loan or application, you just reuse what's there already, and you only ask for the incremental. This sounds so simple. Yeah, it does. But in banking, it just hasn't been around, and these platforms allow that. It's true. It's just like healthcare. You know, so much data is out there, and once you have all the data in the system, it just alleviates all how, of the how much, sort of bureaucracy. How much do you love when you go to the doctor at every time, and every doctor you go to, if you have to fill go visit three, data. fill out the same exactly. forms Well, that's over and over I'm, I'm comparing it because it's a very similar situation, banking and, and financial services, including as far as the data is concerned, sort of old school. Gentlemen, congratulations. Oh, thank Good you. Good to thank, see you both. Thank, thank you, you so for much for joining us. us. Frank Sorrentino and Pierre Naudet there. We will have